Do you know that at least 85% of the global population has experienced weather events made worse by climate change? Hawaii's weather pattern is changing too, and food security is at stake. We still import nearly 90% of our food. We call for your kuleana, your responsibility to take action. We can do. Grow food in the garden and create food forests. Make wise choices in the grocery store. Choose sustainable building material and remind yourself daily that you act on behalf of our grandchildren's future. We are only as strong as our Aina, the land. So let's stop extracting from the earth. Let's help nature restore herself. Join us in this educational series of modern and ancient techniques of regenerative living and agriculture. So step one in making a Johnson Sioux bioreactor is to take a regular everyday shipping pallet, cut six holes in it in a diagram that you will show you later, and then you cover it with ground cloth that has lots of holes in it, and you staple it down and then you cut around the holes. So that's step one. Okay, so we're wiring together the cage for our Johnson Sioux bioreactor. This is common everyday cement wire, six by six um, meshes here. And we've cut out 12 and a half feet, and now we've rolled it up so that we have a diameter of 40 inches. A standard shipping pallet is 48 by 40, so we want to make it the maximum of 40 inches wide. And we'll tie it together with tie wire, and then we'll show you the next step. So as you can see through the green ground cloth, we're putting four inch PVC perforated pipe in the center of the bioreactor down into those holes we cut previously into the pallet so the air can come into the pallet and back up those chimneys allowing air into every section of the compost material so that no area is more than six or twelve inches away from air at any time so here we're tying sections of rebar across the top of the frame to hold the pipe securely in place while we fill it Okay, hey, our international group here has secured the, the cage, put in the mesh, and secured these little pipes so that they don't fall and wobble over as we're filling it, and that everything is at least, everything is at least six to 12 inches to air. Here's our Johnson Sioux bioreactor. It's now full. It's got the pipes in it for aeration. They have the holes in it and they go all the way to the bottom and have air all the way through. In a few days, the mycorrhizal fungi will have enough hyphae to hold these tubes open and we'll take the actual tubes out, but there'll still be the same hole that'll go all the way down to the bottom. So air is going into this material everywhere. And that's what makes it special. It's a static pile aerated compost that becomes an inoculant. We don't stop at compost, we, stop, we don't stop until all the food is gone and it's an inoculant. So this much material, it took about six of us, a little more than half a day to put it all together. And when we're done, it's enough to cover 750 acres of farmland. That's over a square mile for a half a day's work with around 300 different microbial species, microbes and fungus, or bacteria and fungus. That's quite an amazing thing to happen. Anybody in any neighborhood, in any country, with any resources can do this. It costs nothing. It costs nothing and it makes your garden so fertile. Okay guys, uh, today's day six, uh, since we built this uh, bioreactor. 
and now it's time for us to pull out this uh, beautiful white pipes the fungi has already established in this uh, environment and it's gonna keep the holes open and that's going to make better aeration there's going to be more airflow for the decomposing process to happen in a faster and better way so i'm going to proceed to pull out this guys and show you guys after okay guys so we already i already pulled out all the pipes from this guy and now it's ready just to be left out uh, i'm going to water it next thing and we're going to keep uh, being on top of it, watering and giving it some hydration. <laughs> uh, and as soon as it gets to a point, it'll go from here all the way down to here probably, and that'll be the prime time for us to use it as uh, new soil, as nutrients for the garden, for the fruit trees, for many different plants that need nourishing and love. Okay guys, we're done out there. Uh, now, I just wanted to share with you that with this process, we're actually creating the equivalent to a really old growth forest just in one year. So for now, we just gotta wait for a whole year for creating that beautiful environment for our bacteria and our microbes to thrive. Uh, and I'll see you in a year. Climate change is here. Now, we must learn how to live with it. Do you want to be part of the solution? If our educational series of regenerative living and ancient wisdom inspired you, stay tuned for more. Education brings change. Your donation to Food Security Hawaii helps revitalize the earth, inspires people to grow their own food, and empowers our community with self-sufficiency. Mahalo!